Hey everyone, it's Ben with Aqua, Arizona Windsurfing, Kiteboarding, and Wing Foiling Association. Do look us up and feel free to join us on our Facebook page if you have not done so already. So just a little bit over a month ago, I did a video on what I call the squat start for wing foiling. And, um, and I'll be honest, I have just been um, pretty blown away by the response to that video. So thanks to all of you who took the time out of your day to watch and especially to comment. It means a lot to see that other people are having the same issues that I did when I was trying to get get started and, and hopefully that video goes a long way towards um, helping you progress uh, in your wing foiling. If you haven't seen the first video but for some reason stumbled upon this one, don't worry. This video should still make sense if you're struggling or having a hard time knee starting or frankly just staying on the board. I will also link the first video below and a clickable thumbnail of it should appear at the end of this video. So why even do a uh, more squat start or a part two uh, video? Um, so I recorded most of that footage, you know, kind of on a LARF, uh, knowing it would be a slow uh, wind day and really not sure if I would even get any flights in, but at the same time, just still wanting to, to get um, uh, you know, get some footage or some B-roll down. So since then, uh, we've had a bit more wind around here and um, some more productive days, thankfully. And uh, as a result, I have a bit more footage from some angles, which uh, I think will show the concepts I was discussing in the first video, uh, you know, more clearly, or at least give the viewer a chance to see what I was trying to demonstrate. And finally, there were some other advantages to the squat start that I just forgot to touch on in my haste to, to get the video edited and, and uploaded. So with all that said, I'm going to, to skip all of the basics of uh, how to squat start. Um, you can check out my uh, original video explaining, or um, some of you might um, consider over explaining uh, how to do it. So while it is a squat start, and it's not a knee start, the fact of the matter is a squat start is going to involve, you know, a brief amount of time on your knees. However, it is a fraction, or anyways, it should be a fraction of the time that you would spend in regular knee starting, since obviously it's your feet and not your knees that are the uh, main connection between you and your wingboard. As a result, the soles of your feet end up taking the load and the stress and not your knees and shins. Um, and in, in some cases, if, if you've knee started, you know that sometimes even the top sides of your feet um, take a beating, uh, particularly in you know less than flat water or, or choppy conditions. This can be very, very challenging and difficult for um, people who have bad knees or, um, you know, frankly, it's, it's not fun to um, have your knees in that kind of uh, stress position um, for the number of seconds um, or minutes even that it would take for you to get powered up and um, get to one foot and then the other foot and then actually um, uh, arrange your feet in, in the position you want and then you know be able to to stand up and go so saving your knees is certainly a um, major major advantage to the squat start as opposed to the knee start and so because you, it's your feet and not your knees and shins that are taking most of the contact and the friction um, from riding on the board it also helps uh, as an added bonus to be able to uh, result in you know less wear and tear on your wetsuit um, um, you know those, those things are, are they're not cheap they are expensive and while yes most of them do come with you know very nice very thick um, very uh, uh, robust knee padding um, you know why subject them to wear and tear and pilling and and you know all the other stuff that that can happen to them when they're constantly um, being abraded 
uh, on the surface of, of you know, your particular wing board. Finally, my favorite part of um, squat starting uh, comes from the fact that you use your, your feet, your toes, and uh, your ankles to balance and counterbalance uh, your, your weight and weight distribution. Um, you know, as opposed to, you know, using your knees, obviously, in a knee start, uh, or your shins, and certainly your mid and upper body or torso to, you know, figure out that balance uh, laterally. And finally, as an added bonus, I believe the squat start gives you an excellent gauge as to whether or not the gust that you're in is strong enough to to take a shot at getting up on foil. As mentioned in the first video, you can you can just stay squatted and you know basically just surf with the wing overhead. There's no rush to stand up, uh, provided obviously your wing tips aren't catching or anything like that. There's no rush to stand up if you don't want to or aren't feeling comfortable or balanced yet. What's nice is that if you're nearly planing while in the squat start. That's a pretty good indication that as soon as you stand, you're going to be able, you're going to be at takeoff speed, basically. Um, I like to say if you can surf it, you can ride it. And by that I mean if you're, again, you know, you're moving along, motoring along pretty good in the squat start with the wing powered up, chances are very strong that if you just stand up, you'll be able to pop up on foil within a matter of seconds. And finally, I, I want to stress, and perhaps I didn't do this enough in the first video, so I wanted to do it here, that the squat start and this approach, is this is not the holy grail. Um, there, there are plenty of ways to achieve um, getting up on a wing board and wing foiling. This is just one of them. Uh, it's just one method, one approach to help you get on the board consistently and eventually flying, you know, over the water. Um, however, you know, if you have bad hips, um, you lack uh, a certain degree of, of flexibility um, to do what is shown in this video, uh, this probably won't work great for you. I think one commenter uh, in the first video questioned how well this approach would, would work um, in more choppy conditions and you know admittedly where we ride here at at the local reservoir lake you know it tends to you know 90 percent of the time be, be pretty flat certainly compared to um, what you might experience um, uh, in a, a in an ocean type type setting still like I said you know this is an option if you're more comfortable getting on the board and facing forward uh, or being in a sub style stance or and riding around on, on your knees absolutely go for it okay um, I always tell people who are starting out um, you know, stick with what works if knee starting is what you were taught and it's getting you up and cruising and, and in the air do not do anything different definitely do not listen to me do not watch these videos just stick with what you've got and progress progress from there And so that is the latest Squat Start installment. I appreciate you uh, all uh, checking this out and watching. Um, if you like this video and found it useful, we sure would appreciate your hitting the like button below. If you're struggling with standing or you know just even staying on the board while trying to learn how to wing foil, I hope you'll check out the first video and then um, consider giving this technique a try. If you do, please let us know in the comment section below how it worked out for you. Lastly, if you live in Arizona, the desert southwest, or this general part of the world, and would like to see a video on a specific wing foiling topic, uh, please also let us know in the comment section. We hope to be uploading a lot more helpful guides, how-tos, gear reviews, and other great content soon, so be sure to subscribe and check back here soon. 
Until then, this is Ben with Aqua, wishing you good winds and happy sailing.